hi beauties welcome back to my channel it's deli t y here today we are making the regular soup and a furry roll as you can see i already cut up my tomatoes peppers bell pepper and onions and right now i'm just adding my minced garlic it's already um cut to make it easy as you can see i'm just um, spreading it all over and we will be grilling the um, tomatoes in the oven i'm just putting it in the oven right now and we're just gonna set, let it um, grill for about 20 to 30 minutes and after that i'm just gonna prep my um, a 40 roll um, ingredient this is the kuta fish and i'm just gonna um, put it in hot water and let it simmer um, for some minute while i get the other ingredients ready so all you need to do is to cover it let it um, be for some minute and i'm just um right now i'm about to um wash the meat i have one more i have goat's meat and all kinds of um, meats in here and i'm just gonna wash it um thoroughly before we broil it So after washing the meats, next thing we're going to do is to um, let it cook um, for a few hours, I guess an hour, about an hour and a half. And right now I'm just getting my dry um, shrimp ready and I'm just going to pour in some hot water and let it um, simmer as well. That makes it um, softer. And um, right now I'm just going to add all the ingredients to the beef on the um stove some just had it um some salt i'm adding some maggi i use no you can use any other maggi that you usually use i'm as adding some bay leaf right here is some garlic and um for us africa if you already know we don't measure i'm adding curry right now we only keep putting until the holy spirit says um stop <laughs> So I'm adding some meat um, seasoning and I'm also going to add some onion powder as well to it. And I love, love, love the onion powder. So um, that's why I'm adding a lot of it. I'm adding some thyme um, to the meat as well. I love seasoning my meat um, well enough. And I'm also adding some ginger powder. And also, uh, you will need um, to stir it and make sure it's um, all the ingredients that you added is um, well distributed. So that way, your meat will taste perfect. So I'm just adding water um, right now to the meat. I'm not going to add a lot of um, water, so it's not too um, watery. So I'm just going to cover it right now and then let it cook until it's tender and soft. And our tomatoes, bell pepper, and onions, and all of that is ready. And I'm just, the next thing I'm going to do is to take it out, let it, let it cool. As you can see, it's very, very hot. So I'm just going to leave it for a while. And this is what it looks like. I just love, love, love the taste of a great um, tomatoes. Uh, try it and let me know. It gives a different taste to your soup. Uh, I'm just going to grind it, blend it right now in the blender. So since I'm making soup, I want it to be very, very smooth. If you're making stew, it doesn't have to be as smooth as this. So it, it depends on what you're making. So right now, I'm just going to add the palm oil um, to the pot. And also, I'm going to add some um, 
vegetable oil as well. I love using both palm oil and vegetable oil for both. It just gives it a very um, nice um, taste and it makes it look really nice um, as well. So I'm not just using the palm oil um, for the soup, I'm using vegetable oil as well. So when it's hot enough, I'm just going to add the pureed tomatoes, uh, pepper and all of that that we just um, blended. And I'm just going to go for the second round right now and pour in the, uh, the rest of the half of the um, tomatoes. And when it's ready, I'm going to add all the ingredients, all the spices, the ginger, the turmeric, um, the garlic, the salt, the seasoning and all of that into um, the soup. So next thing I'm going to do is to add the meats water, the water from the meat. It also gives it a very nice taste. So not too much, just a little bit since I already added um, some spices in the soup already. So it's not overpowering the taste of the soup. So I'm just going to stir everything together to make sure it's all in around and I'm just going to let it cook. So right now our meat is ready and I'm just um, stirring in. As you can see, you still have some water in there and I'm just going to keep the water for some other time. Um, I can use it to make jollof fries and all kinds of um, recipe. So the next thing to do is to grill the meat as well. I'm not a fan of frying, especially for um, health um, issues. So I prefer grilling. I have the fry my meat only once in a while so i'm just putting it in the tray right now and i'm just gonna grill it as well for some minute um about 15 to 20 minutes um not more than that in the oven and right here we're about to make the veggie table soup i already added the oil is out and i'm just adding the mixture of the blended um, tomatoes onions and pepper i added some snail and also i'm gonna have um, the dried um shrimp that we did um the other time i added some pomo some cut um pomo and other um ingredients as well like the dried uh, prawn that i put um put in the up water the other time and i'm gonna um stir it together to make sure the steel the sauce and everything get into um the steel So right now I'm adding the dried um, kuta fish. As you can see, it's a very big fish, so I'm only putting half of it, so uh, it's not um, too much in the sauce because uh, it's not a lot of um, sauce. So I'm only putting the half of it, and I'm gonna put the rest in the freezer, and I'll use it um, for another time. So right here, I'm putting the cow leg in the soup. I was not able to grill the cow leg, I'll only grill the beef, so I'm pulling it in the soup and I'll put in the grilled meat in the soup as well. So the grilled beef is ready and I'm just going to add it um, to the soup as well. As you can see, it looks really good. It looks as if it's fried. This is healthier, it's less oil. And it's much, much more better for your health than the fried one. So I'm stirring together this um, stew for the A4 reroll. So I'm doing the two stew, I mean the two cooking at the same time. So I'm just making sure the stew is not burnt. So you want to stir it as much as you can because it's already getting um, very thick. And the stew for the A4 is ready. So I added the vegetables this is the spinach vegetable you can use other kinds of vegetable that you want but this is the one um available and i really really love um, spinach veggies 
so i'm just stirring it together um, to make sure all the sauce is well distributed and that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching kindly subscribe and give this video a thumbs up for more videos and i'll see you guys in the next video bye